Hi, Steve here from Winning More. Today I want to show you how to set up a VPS. I get lots of emails on people that want to do it and think it's hard. Well, let's run through it and just show you. Time for VPS is the one that we use and recommend. It is a service that's in um, Lithuania. It's uh, a lot cheaper than the English services. And uh, let's go about signing up for an account. So the first thing we need is you're using our bots and most bots and that is you need the option here, the, the KVM Windows for VPS. So if we click on there, we can view the plans and see what we want to do. Okay, so if we uh, have a look at here, it's going to show us now, these are the quarterly plans for the different Windows um, plans and they're differentiated obviously by the RAM size, uh, the storage and bandwidth. Now, if you're only going to use, say, up to four bots, then this one here is fine. So it's um, nearly 10 euros a month and you've got to sign up for three months. OK, so 30 euros for three months. This is the quarterly price. If we go to the annual price, you can see there at the moment there's a 12 and percent discount. We click on that and you'll see now the price has come down to um, 8.74 euros per month. OK, so you can see that that's quite cheap. If I just do a calculation, um, I think we're looking at, I mean, you're looking round about the, um, I think it's just about the same for same. So probably round about nine pounds for per month if you're going to do it annually and obviously a little bit more here. So quite a lot cheaper than uh, Tagadab, which we've been using. The thing is, if you're using this for four bots and that, you will have to occasionally clear out the logs because you're only using two, two meg of memory there. But I've been running four and five bots on this plan. Um, okay, and I just go and clear the, clear the log, stop the bots and restart them every couple of weeks. And this just takes away all the log files, which is hogging your memory. If you want more memory to run more bots, then this one here, the next one up, but you're looking at a another eight euro jump. The thing is the storage is not a problem because the bots use very little storage and you can see there the bandwidth and that. So if you're only going to run a few bots, uh, up to four bots, then I suggest you use this one here. And then biannually, if you want to do it for, you're getting a 25% discount if you want to order two years at once, bringing it down to 749 euro. But I'm just going to do this one quarterly at the moment because um, I may be upscaling to a higher one next time. So if we go to quarterly and we look at this one here, I'll order, click on the order, take us to the order page. Okay, here we are now, this is the bot we want, KVM Windows 2, tells us what we're going to get there. And then we've got some options here. So we don't, we don't need any of these options, so we don't need to pay any extra for anything like that. You get an opportunity here again if you want to change from quarterly right through. Um, so, you, yeah. okay, so we've decided that we're not going to take any of these and we're just going to run with the standard um, Windows 2. So it's going to cost us nearly 30 euro. That's for three months. Click continue. OK, and it brings us to our order page here now. Now, here's all the parts that you need to fill in in the client information. So you just go through and fill that. And once you've done that, you can see you're going to pay on credit card, money bank, transfer or PayPal or Bitcoins or altcoins, whatever they are. So you choose your payment method, fill in your client form and um, click on I've read the conditions and hit the checkout. OK, so once you've hit check out, you'll be brought to the order confirmation page. Invoice generated, please review pending invoice in the client area and submit your payment. Click submit payment. OK, so here's your invoice. Now and uh, it's telling us it's paid. 
we can go back to the client area now. And now it's telling us this is our new our new server here. Okay, and we can manage the new server. Click on manage. And to begin using a server, we must install ISO first. And it gives us all our details down here of what we've got. Okay, the install took about five minutes on my computer. So now we have to uh, just ask us all, all data stored will be erased. Well, we've got nothing on there yet. So just select the new iOS for our cloud server. We've got the options down here and um, I'll take the Windows 2012 because only because I'm used to that one. So uh, it's up to you. Do you want to ensure that you want to install, reinstall? Yes, so we install it. So now we're installing the Windows 2012. Okay, I did that install on Windows um, 2012, and it, that took 15 minutes. So we don't we don't need to do any more installing here now. And if we scroll down here, you'll see your IP, which will be the IP address that you need to plug in so that you can access your BPS and you'll be given a password. Um, it'll have a red line across it saying click for password and it'll show you the password. Okay, um, now just, it's been a while since I've set one up, so just bear with me. Um, connecting to KVM Windows using uh, RDP is a software that you can use on your phone. You can just get it from the Google shop or iTunes, I think. It's free and you can also get it for your iPad. And that will that's a way of um, getting to your, to your BPS on your phone or mobile when you're out and about. Um, for the remote desktop, which is what RDP stands for, you can use in Windows, um, you've got a link there and I'll show you that shortly. So um, just let me stop the video and take note of my IP address and password and then we'll continue. Okay, so we'll just connect on here and see where we go from here. So. Okay, so what is it telling? What once we click on that, it tells us on the remote disk protocol, it tells you how to connect uh, to your computer. Okay, so your computer here will be the IP address, and the username is administrator. So okay, so we don't need to know about uh, log on with Linux and that because we don't using Linux. We're using the window. So that tells us exactly um, how to do it. And we're using this Windows here. So I'll show you this in the next step, okay? So let's see if I can get back to where we were. Here are our login details. If I click on that, it gives us our login details. And uh, we click there for the, to show you the password. So these um, are the details that we need, obviously, to enter into our remote desk protocol, which we'll do next. Okay, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so if we go and I'll just move this camera down, the button down there, we will see here, it, because I use it, it comes up straight away, but just look for remote desk connection. When you click on connection, this is what you, um, appear with and this is the connection between your computer and the VPS. So here in computer under this one here you cut and paste in the IP address that you were given when you got your time for VPS account and the username if you is administrator so you type in administrator capital A administrator in there 
or if you've changed your username, that will go in there. And then what you need to do is save that. So if we click on save, and then we can now connect to our VPS by pushing the connect button. It will come up with, do you trust this remote? Of course we do, don't ask me again. And we push connect. And we get the connecting signal as it connects to our VPS. This usually happens pretty well straight away. And there we are now at our VPS. Let's try and get down to the bottom of it. Go to Internet Explorer. And from Internet Explorer, this will enable us to download our bots. So the link that you've been sent, if you have still got it, then you can just post into here, up here, and we can go from there. So what we'll do now is we'll, ins we'll install our Jockey Trainer Bot. Okay, so we just go up here now and we in insert the link that you get for whatever bot you're using. And we click on the little arrow there. And we're in, and we go to the install. So we can just install it with the, the XE version. So we're installing it now. Would you like to save the bot? This may harm, could harm your computer. Well, all of our softwares are safe. So we'll put in run. Yes, we want to run it. As I said, all of our softwares are safe. So there's no problem there. So now it's downloading the software and this we're still in our VPS here. Okay, so we just go through the install. Create a shortcut, we need that. Install. Finish. And it will just now ask us to register it. And then Michael will send you the key. You come back into you come back into your VPS and uh, and put the key in the bottom here, and then we're good to go. So we'll send that off. Tells us our activation code will be received within 12 hours. So now we can um, close that off and we can get out of. Well, then it's failed because we haven't got a key in yet. We haven't got it, so that's okay. So that's it. That is how you open an account with time for VPS. The link is below the video and how to install the, the bot.